So on this video, I'm doing a Simpsons Bohemian Rhapsody tribute. So it's gonna be the Simpsons dressed up like the the band Queen. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe right now and click that bell for notifications. So I started off with the background here. Uh, it's just a white piece of uh, a white canvas, 16 by 20. Or no, actually this one's 18 by 24 inch. I painted um, the, the backdrop uh, kind of just some black and, and white uh, to get that, those gray colors in there. Left kind of the space where Homer's gonna be and then uh, where the rest of the family members are. And then from there, I did use some stencils and uh, airbrush to, to get some of that uh, circular print that you see kind of throughout the canvas. Um, I wanted that to be like a fun little backdrop. And then after that, I drew, uh, started drawing in Homer Simpson. So now you can see I drew Homer, um, his, his form. Now I'm just coloring it in doing the outline so that I could see where everything is. So once I did the outline, I'm coloring the hair. For Homer, I'm not gonna get his, um, I'm just getting the tones right, but not the color. I don't really care much about the color for Homer. And you'll see that at the, uh, towards the end, why that is. But for now, I just wanna get the, the light tones where the light tones are supposed to be and the dark tones where the dark tones are supposed to be. So like the hair, the mustache, the inside of the mouth, those really dark, the microphone, but his skin and his shirt are lighter. So now I'm draw drawing Marge with a, I started drawing her with a regular pencil, got a good idea of where, uh, where she's gonna be on this. Uh, and, then I, and then I took out the, black paint marker and outlined her. I like to draw it first with a pencil just so I know where it's gonna be, where the um, where it would fit well. And then from there, uh, use that paint marker because that paint marker is kind of hard to take off if I, if I put it in the wrong spot. So that's why I don't wanna be fully committed to that without having drawn a little bit at least. So now I'm coloring in Marge, I'm just filling in like the guitar that she's holding her shirt, her hair, get a nice bright blue for her hair. And I'm just finishing up the rest of Marge here, uh, re-outlining it because when I painted it, I did cover up some of the, the outline that I initially did. And now on to the bottom left uh, corner, that's where Maggie's gonna be, she's gonna be recording. She's the camera person here. So I just drew her with a paint marker. This, with her, I I basically drew, uh, just drew 100% with the paint marker. I didn't really use pencil on that one. I was able to kind of tell where I wanted that to be. Now Lisa, uh, with her wig on, I just drew her in right there. And I worked a little bit of the background. I wanted some, uh, I want a little darker around there. I just worked a little bit of that backdrop and then uh, lightened up some of those characters. So now I'm putting on some um, transfer paper, some very uh, translucent paper here, and I'm cutting it with one of those knives um, uh, just so that I could uh, open up that empty space and then not um, I'm going to use the airbrush here, so I didn't want to uh, spray on the characters themselves. So I just put that paper on there. Now putting the stencil, put a glove on, and then uh, airbrush some, some white color on there. So I'm doing the same between Homer and uh, Lisa. And airbrushing white onto there. So now you can see that white really stands out. That airbrush that I did really stands out uh, over the dark color. The Over the darker part, it really stands out. Over the lighter part, it kind of stands out. Um, so I just wanted to add that in between Lisa and, um, and Homer to get uh, 
just to get some good color going on there some good contrast and then I'm coloring in the camera and Maggie herself getting her earphones and now I'm coloring in Lisa's hair And this, this painting was actually inspired because I was watching Bohemian Rhapsody uh, just just the other day. And I love that movie, it's one of my favorite movies. And so uh, there was a scene in there where there was kind of um, uh, Freddie Mercury and then uh, two of his bandmates on both sides of him in kind of a, a song scene. And that's what I'm kind of trying to capture here with the uh, with the Simpsons characters, uh, with them uh, in their doing their Live Aid performance, mixing it in with the scene that I recall from Bohemian Rhapsody. And so you can see a Bart I drew in in that gap right between Lisa and Homer, just right above. Here's a close up. I'm coloring in everything that's gray with white so that those colors could stand out that I'm gonna put on Bart because his hair is gonna be a very like a beige. So it's a light color. His skin tone is yellow. His skin is yellow, so I want that to stand out. If I just put yellow over uh, gray, it's gonna come out very dark. Now I'm filling in his hair. Air, uh, using my uh, heat gun to dry that up. So now once I had that done, I took out the oil paint. So everything to this point I had done was acrylic paint. Now this is uh, oil paint and I used uh, a nice red color with a lot of uh, liquid medium so that it dries up fast, but also so that it uh, is very, so that it's very translucent. So as I apply it, you can see everything that's underneath it. Now I'm using, uh, you can see as I go out further, I'm using purple on both sides. Now I'm doing that both sides. And I'm just uh, letting that go on smoothly. And now I'm using blue on the very edge on both sides. And here it is. The Simpsons Bohemian Rhapsody tribute painting. If you like this uh, art project, give it a, um, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.